What was the best moment you've seen where the real world hit a spoiled rich kid? Here's a switch. Highly successful local doctor slash politician expects son to attend medical school and become doctor. Son opts out. Gets job with new company called Costco. Pumping gas. He's been with that company ever since. Just his regular pay raises and bonus checks give him a good life. He just didn't want the high stress life his dad had. I saw Justin Bieber throw a shit fit and end up not getting what he wanted. We have quarterly team building exercises at my company where you basically go and play mini golf or some other activity capped at $25 slash person. Sometime between 2009 and 2011, I really can't remember exactly, my group just decided to go for a fancy lunch in downtown Portland. After lunch we took one of our cowalkers to the semi-famous Nike store which was a couple of blocks away, and that was the day Justin Bieber happened to show up. When he and his entourage arrived he said something somewhat loudly along the lines of your are going to have to leave for a bit cause I'm here to do some shopping, and some of his people acted like they were going to try and politely force the Alreda prison customers out of the store so Bieber could shop alone, but the Nike employees even more politely told him that was not possible. At that point Bieber lost it I mean he threw a total tantrum because they wouldn't shut down the store for him. The tantrum didn't work, and he and his folks left in a half. That's really my only celebrity in the wild encounter and it's freaking lame. Saw a college guy with a ridiculously expensive car, can't remember the model, rear and this woman who drove an absolute beater. Her car was definitely totaled and his wasn't looking that hot either. He got out and started screaming at this woman. She was in tears. He kept telling her that she was going to pay for this. When the cops came. I saw each of them give their statements. After that, me and like 10 people came forward and gave our witness statements. It sounded like each and every one of us put complete fault on him, which was the truth. When the cops went back to him, I saw his face just sink. He probably told them it was her fault and just found out that two handfuls of people just confirmed that he's full of shit. I've never seen that many witnesses stick around for a simple traffic accident. I think the other people felt the same way I did, that kid was a douche and should be punished for what he did. One of my college roommates was very rich growing up. I didn't realize just how rich until I had to explain to her what a coupon was in very extensive detail. On multiple occasions she bragged that she wasn't even interested in her major, philosophy, or college in general. But she was at uni because her parents were acquiring her to get a degree, any degree in order to get access to her trust fund. I don't remember ever seeing her go to class and she eventually got expelled sophomore year over academic dishonesty. I guess this was the last straw for her parents, because they cut her off pretty soon after that. This actually served as a wake up call. She somehow managed to get a public health degree at a different school in spite of the academic dishonesty listed on her transcript. She's doing pretty well for herself these days. We've kept in touch and last we talked she was considering grad school. Local business owner puts son through college and more. When kid graduates with multiple degrees dad decides to retire and turn over business to son. Son brings college cronies on board. Has management or wear white cowboy hats and drive white pickups. Begins revamping business. Dad comes out of retirement pronto. Gets rid of son and cronies. Years later bankrolls son's run for state rep. The son lost. Dad dies and leaves business to daughter. While working in a casino here in Las Vegas, a herd of girls came to my window. And one proceeded to tell me about her great birthday party itinerary that her dad had paid for. For her 18th birthday. With no adult in the party. Just a bunch of teenage girls. Out in Vegas. Where none of them could do anything. Because none of them were 21. I couldn't even check them into their reservation. They start yelling and screaming at me. I calmly call security and security tells them they can either go play in the arcade or leave and try to find a hotel off the strip that will take them in W slash out being 21. The anger turns to tears. The security guard is unmoved. Somewhat distant relative spent all of his university years and 20s partying hard with the backslash 100,120k allowances rich company owning father gave him each year. He'd travel the world each year going to Bali, Thailand, Europe, every year Oktoberfest, just rampaging. 
at 32 or so he decided to settle an upscale ski resort area of the US and open a business with his hot gold digger fiance. When he went to transfer his money to his US bank account he noticed it only came to a few thousand dollars. He angrily asked the bank worker why she hadn't transferred the entire amount only to be told that that was the entire amount. His father had cut him off without saying anything and he just hadn't noticed. Absolute flatline. Rich scummy injury lawyer as kid was in my class in HS. Goes to college, mid-size school in the Midwest, and gets plastered drunk. Parents bought him, and his friends alcohol, since freshman year so nothing new, and Rat says he has to write him up for alcohol in the dorms. Punches to Raz. Then gets cops called on him, and knocks a copper's tooth out. Long story short his parents have to drive back 67 hours after one day to get him, and Hella's not even allowed to leave the state until his hearing. Last I heard Hella's working at a fast food establishment. A kid from my high school came from a well-known family that was very involved in politics. He slacked off in school and was mostly a condescending ass for years. After graduation, he didn't really do anything, but eventually decided to run for office as he had the same name as his father. He won easily because people didn't realize it was the kid as a state rep. He posted on Facebook about enjoying his women battered rather than plain, and asking to join the Black Caucus because he like hip hop. He also dropped a loaded gun on the floor in the middle of a session. After fighting for the right to carry a gun in the state, housed as a responsible gun owner, he kept getting elected despite these issues because his family was well connected and he had a dedicated following from some political groups. After 6 years in office, he gets busted for soliciting sex from a minor over the internet. When they arrest him for that, they also discover he's been dealing drugs. The worst part is that his family is actually super nice and genuinely made the community a better place. But now they have to deal with all the issues from him. He was an apple that fell very far from the tree. Colon open bracket. This is not the best. As it is pretty sad and frankly undeserved but a good example of the question asked. I went to a very expensive private elementary school. A friend of mine grew up very wealthy. Her father a surgeon and mother a stay at home wife. They were very controlling of her and quite honestly. A little scary. They sheltered her to the extreme. And she frequently repeated insane things they said verbatim. Because that was all she knew. If she was told to clean her room but left an item out upon her par and so inspection. They would throw the item out, no matter what it was. Once it was something very sentimental to her, Kano would remember what it was, and when she told me, and I expressed sympathy, she said something like, Oh Ariar no it is okay, it is my fault. If I told my children to clean their rooms, but they did know it, and had their friends come over, their friends would go home. And tell their parents about how much of a slob my family and that cannot happen. Oh yeah, this was her concern at 10 years old. When it came time for college, they sent her to an expensive, hard to jet into school. And told her that her sole purpose there was to find a husband, specifically a doctor or an engineer, to keep her as a stay at home wife. She flat out told me this was her only purpose. Which broke my heart, because she is a smart person who was able to get into said school to begin with and her parents should have been encouraging different goals for her. Well, she found a boyfriend, but at the end of her 4 years of undergrad, he turned out to be a cheating narcissistic doucher bag. The narcissistic doucher bag part was obvious to me from the jet go, but she had no idea what a healthy relationship looked like. However the cheating was obvious enough to be a deal breaker. So instead of going straight to marriage, which disappointed her parents and they kicked her out of the house, she suddenly had to become solely independent, find a job and an apartment, and is doing well for herself. She is a totally different person now, and has come a really long way. Freshman year of college the guy across the hall from me is a spoiled rich kid from a big southern city. Old money clearly coming out his ass. A couple weeks into the second semester he and a buddy found a checkbook on the sidewalk. Stupid fuckers decided to write themselves a check and cash it in the bank that the account is in. The teller immediately called the cops and they both got arrested. We talked the night he got arrested and he laughed and said his dad would take care of it and everything would be fine. That weekend we met his dad as they moved everything out of the dorms since his dumbass got expelled. 
Guess daddy didn't take care of it. This is nowhere near as dark as most of these. But one of my acquaintances in college was dating a woman from a relatively privileged background. For reference, almost 90% of the people at this college, including myself, were from similar backgrounds. But most of us had some kind of idea as to what the real world was like. Most of us were in the range of parents have a house and an off-grid hunting camp. Been to Disney World at least once. Had a Nintendo when it first came out. Parents chipped in our our first beat to Corolla Ridge. And some people were really out there. This girl had no idea how to use most common household appliances because in her home. She had maids and servants for that. She clogged all the common room laundry machines with feather bows on a regular basis. She had no idea how to cook pretty much anything. It was all fun and games until she figured a dryer and a microwave were basically the same appliance. Microwaved all her clothes and burned the entire dorm down. Nobody was hurt, but it was a major what the fuck moment and many people had to find temporary housing. About 10 years ago I was having a pint with a friend of mine. His family shit gold I swear. I mentioned I was struggling with rent and bills while in college and he just said get your mum to pay for it then mate. She's disabled and we've never had real money. He instantly realized what he said and did feel bad about it. I think it was the first time he really understood that not everyone has their parents to lean on financially. In a country with high alcohol taxation. Rich kids enter pub. Like 1012 of them. Throw card at bartender. Demanding shots. What would y'all like? Whatever lol. Dad is paying the mayo. Bartender pours double J. W. Blues for all the brats and some randoms that they treated. Brat with card had tears in his eyes when the tab came in. Dad's going to kill me. I did enjoy the free whiskey though. I knew one who apparently couldn't fathom how people live on a budget. We used to hang out a lot at her insistence, but she liked to eat at expensive places, whereas I'd have no issue having my meals somewhere cheaper. However, she kept pouting and insisting I stay. I said I couldn't, unless she wanted to spot me. She didn't. I then walked her through the math and showed her that the cost of my meals with her, every day, totaled my entire wage for the month. She didn't stop pouting, but from then on I could eat by myself in peace. Used to be a counselor at a pretty nice summer camp and a lot of the kids that went there came from families that were rich enough to own a lake house on a very nice lake. Average price would be 23 million dollars for a second home. Most of the rich kids were pretty nice honestly. But I remember one kid who was the son of some retired NBA player who tried to use his status as a way of winning at blob wars. For people who don't know. A blob is basically a giant bag of air that sits in the water and you can jump on one end and send someone flying off the other. HTTPS slash slash yao to b slash nryu underscore sigma t equals 38. Blob Wars was where you would climb onto the blob and try to knock other people in. So the kid was popular and he would form an alliance with other kids so they'd end up getting knocked off before him. I watched for a while and then hopped on got the usual hey let's form an alliance thing from him and said nope he went on to say his dad was rich and paid a lot to send him there so i got to tell him being thrown off the blob in blob wars was part of the camp experience he ended up being pretty relaxed after a couple days and having fun was an enjoyable gig my best moment was when i got hired by a pair of woodside ca parents to transition their horrible 18 year old into the realities of real life Something that evaded both of them. My first action was to take away his platinum. Limitless. Credit cards. He threw a tantrum. That lasted several days. Where am I going to get money? Get a job. My parents will fire you. They didn't. When he realized that boundaries and budgets had been set in stone. And that he not only had to pay the bills. The rent. But taxes too. He headed straight to college. To wait out the next four years. He is still a little jerk. But at least he has a job and an education now.